Mm, good evening, and welcome to another episode of Ask Sebastian. Let's get straight to it, shall we? And our first question is from someone called Callum in Ballum, who asks, What are my thoughts concerning my interview with the Clapham Cowboys back in the mid-1980s? Well, Callum, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by this, because as you might remember, I wrote something of a no-holds-barred article for the Melody Maker, in which I spoke most freely. So as I say, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Mm, perhaps what you meant to say was what did I think of the band individually, in which case you really should have been more specific. But I suppose, looking back, most of them seemed like fairly decent chaps, and aside from the fact that all of them were quite stoned, Butler himself seemed to know exactly what he was doing, and it was clear even then that he had a glorious future ahead of him. As for the others, well, something that surprised me recently was finding out that Jimmy, the original drummer, is in fact currently a member of the National Network of Truth Seekers, and he's still in Clapham, working alongside Teddy, their enigmatic leader. All of which I discovered whilst doing some research for my latest book, by the way. And I must say it was marvellous meeting up with Jimmy and chatting about those yesterdays over a glass of sherry in the Black Swan. As for the singer, well, as I recall, he didn't really make much of an impression, though he seemed pleasant enough. But then, you see, it was when they introduced their bass player as Sudbury that things turned a tad awkward. At least for me. I mean, until that moment, I genuinely hadn't realised that it was Lord Sudbury's boy in the room. Then again, at the time he appeared to be dressed in clothes that were far too small for his lanky frame, and was now sporting a scruffy mop of curly blonde hair. Now as you know, I try to keep my personal feelings separate from my work, but I must confess it took everything in me not to show any recognition of young Sudbury that night. Though I'm sure the boy must have recognised me. After all, he saw his father and myself arguing on more than a few occasions back in North Compass. And the truth is, I myself used to wonder why young Sudbury didn't identify himself, but I've recently discovered that young Sudbury didn't want the band to discover that he'd been born with a silver spoon and what have you. Probably didn't think it was very rock and roll. Anyway, enough of that. Take a look at this. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to a brand new series of Cooking with Sebastian. This week, we're looking at mushrooms. And the truth is, there are more varieties than you might think. In fact, in my opinion, it's some of the lesser-known varieties that are the most flavoursome. Like this one. It's called Lion's Mane. That was from the early 1990s, where I hosted a programme called Cooking with Sebastian. And the reason I'm showing you that clip is because of Mr Johnson in Abergavenny asks, why was Cooking with Sebastian cancelled after the first episode? Well, the answer to that is quite simple. You see, it seems that the head of the BBC at the time wasn't happy with some of my planned recipes. Though if I'm being completely truthful, I hadn't really wanted to do a cookery show at all, and had totally bluffed my way through the audition. Anyway, Another question, I think, this time from Tom in Upminster, who asks, How many Victorian badger paintings do I have in my collection? To which the answer is, I haven't got a clue, but it must be well over a thousand by now, if not more. As you may know, 
I began collecting these paintings as a child, as I'd become quite enthralled by these badger men that the Victorians loved so much. And these days it's very rare that I can pass one by without having to purchase it. In fact, my housekeeper is continually telling me that I should open an art gallery to display them in a more fitting environment. However, I think she simply wants to give my back parlour a good going over with her duster. Mmm, anyway, time's up for this week. But do join me again next time, where once again I shall open my post bag and attempt to answer your questions. Until then, may the blessings of Mother Compass be upon you.